What's going on guys and gals? Well, today we are actually live, or actually taping, from the 96 Nine Whip Studio. See a little pan around here. You guys are going to be like, ah, no, so that's not a studio, that's just a damn house. Well, you know what? You're right. You're screwing it up! <laughs> Sorry. Alright, well, today, for this week's brew review, we're going to the West Coast. We got this beer, it's actually just called Pumpkin. Pumpkin A. Or Pumpkin. It's not like a punk rock, you know, no. like the Misfits or the this, Damned. This was from our Wegmans trip. I saw it and I had to get it. Yeah, it, it's part of the uh, the whole craft pack that we did. And you can see they got a nice black and white cap featuring the uh, brewing company. And the uh, they are uh, based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and been brewing since 1993. So they're kind of a new timer and already made it out to the east. Yeah. So we've been topping them back and forth between PA and Maryland the last four reviews. So finally, we we went to the West Coast. Brewed with renewable power, so they are earth friendly. Oh really? That's what it says. Okay. And we came prepared this time. We have an empty cup, so we could do the view test. So you can see we could do the head and body test. No, don't take that sexually. No, no. And we got our patented. Yingling bottle cap opener. And uh, for those of you that were laughing at us on the other ones, this one's metal. Yeah, for so for those of you who are commenting on that last one, you can shove that one up your ass. Yeah. It's so we've, we've determined that all these caps are not twists. So earth, wind, and beer. Is that what it says on the bottom? Let's earth, see. Earth, wind, and beer. <laughs> Sounds like a drunk disco parody. All right, so GMC does a smell test. And let me do a little... It has a pumpkin smell to it, just right. a little bit. Just a little bit. Pumpkin. Pumpkin! It actually smells pretty good. Yeah. It does, it, you know, it smells a lot better than the last few we've done here. Because we brew did, review. like, stouts last time, so... All right, so... Harvest pumpkin ale. Well, since I... This was my idea to buy it, and it's brewed with actual pumpkin in it, too. I, I've, I've actually tried other pumpkin flavored beers and I must say they were pretty good. And from what the website said, there's like hints of vanilla and honey in this, so we're gonna. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Down you gonna the try hatch, it? people. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll go first. Down the hatch and in her snatch. Sorry, that was unnecessary, I know. Do you tell. I don't taste any pumpkin. It tastes like yingling. A little bit. But is it drinkable? I, it's drinkable. But I don't taste pumpkin. It tastes like a beer. Alright. I mean, that's all it tastes like. What's going on, people? <laughs> There's my ugly <laughs> mug. And pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It just I don't taste any pumpkin. Yeah, I mean I've I've had better, but yeah, I I'd, I'd drink it if it was that's all that was left in the house here. Yeah. I mean, what the hell, you know? Something give, different. Give it a second swig, see if it. All uh, right, a little second taste, see yeah. if it tastes better. Yeah, we we do two two swigs, then we dump it in the glass and see what it looks like. And you know, it's it's a shame we didn't uh. do this. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't do this for Halloween, you know, or start doing this for Halloween because this is would have a uh, would have been perfect. All right, uh, let's do after, the uh, after burp taste. Not bad. Tastes about the same either way. Yeah. After, All after, right, so after we're burp with a little pour test. As tradition. Let's see. As a tradition with the. It definitely the has a here. light color to it. Very much so. A lot of head. Lots. Look at that. Looks like cream soda. Yes, it does. And it is taken for. Ever to get that out? There of is there. a ton of head, and I know the women like that. Oh, it's like styrofoam. Let's pour a little bit more in here and see what happens. But definitely a lighter beer. It's definitely. I think it's pretty tasty, though. I mean, I I'd try it again. Yeah, definitely. Uh, who the hell brews this stuff? The. Uh, it says on the cap you here. Need a, you need, you a, need brewing a brewing company. company. You, you need a you need a brewing company in Salt Lake City, Utah. So yeah. uh, shout out to Utah. You need a brewing company, and uh, from what we saw on the and website, look at that. The head is it. still there. I've never seen that much head on a beer before, and the body is quite light, as you can see. Yeah, that's <laughs> actually. I mean, doesn't it look carbonated? It does. It looks like, like I said, cream soda. 
But but I I think the taste is pretty good though. I mean I, I give it I, I I give it a four out of five. Yeah, definitely a four out of five. Maybe I yeah. give it a three and a half, four. Oh, I've tasted the pumpkin in that. Did you? <laughs> yes. Let it sit in for a while and then burp, and then you'll taste the pumpkin. Um, I'll guarantee it. You dump most of it in the glass. Look at that. It, Not bad. Mostly foam. I'll finish off the bottle. And there we go. The bottle is done. I got to finish the glass off. That's just this boom. is a hell of a lot better than like the last three we reviewed. I don't think anything could be any worse. Well, there might be some later, but look at that. It's literally all head. How, how's that head there, dog? Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I might be getting comments on Facebook on this. Yeah. Shut up, you smart asses. So, uh, so GMC, your verdict? I'd drink it. I mean, again, same with, uh, what was it, the Hellraiser. I wouldn't go out and buy a case, but if it's what I had, I'd drink I, it. I think it was better than Hellraiser. Yeah, definitely. I Like I said, it tasted kind of, to me, like a little bit of yingling in there. Kind of disappointed. Well, you were thinking about actually buying the six pack. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed because I was hoping it would taste actually like pumpkin. But no, I'm telling you that after you let it sit in and then you burp, you will taste the pumpkin, or at least I did. Okay, but yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay, so yeah, I give it a four out of five. Yeah, three and a half, four. Uh, so definitely that. That was this edition of the brewery. <laughs> I can't freaking talk and I'm not drunk. Brew Review. Yes, that was this week's edition of the Brew Review. Yeah. There, I got it that time. Here on 96.9 The Whip featuring uh. Pumpkin. Uh. And there we go, signing off.